Hey everyone, this is Jack with Kapoint. Today we're introducing Repurpose Studio, a new tool that will help you turn your long form content into multiple social ready videos in just a few clicks. With Repurpose Studio, you no longer have to spend hours of your time going through your footage and trying to find the best piece of content. Repurpose Studio pulls the best parts of your video and optimizes them for socials in a single suite. It's like having your own AI powered editing assistant, sifting through your content so you can focus on getting out the story that you want to tell with virtually no barriers. Our AI clip maker scans your video's transcript, pinpointing the juiciest moments, and voila, your content is ready for the world 10 times faster. It also uses speaker focus, which centers speakers in the frame if you're going from a horizontal format to a vertical format. This is especially helpful if you have a video with multiple speakers, and it adds animated eye-catching subtitles to make sure your videos are as engaging as possible. And the best part is, you can fine-tune and edit manually anything that you want using our full studio editor. Refine those suggested clips to perfection by using trim with transcript, which makes editing video as easy as editing text. Customizing subtitles, adding overlays, and making any manual cuts that you may need. You're in complete control and able to make your videos exactly the way you want it. Repurpose Studio is just there to get you 99% of the way there. And if you're working on a team, now everyone can keep brand consistency and make videos super easily. So what's the bottom line here? Turn one lengthy video into many social ready videos with subtitling and resizing done automatically. And review and adjust in our full editing suite. It's that simple. And Repurpose Studio is ready for you to use today, and I'm going to show you how right now. So the first thing you're going to do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to Kapoing.com's Clip Maker. What you're going to do is just click Generate My Clips, and it'll take you to this modal where you will upload a piece of footage. I'll also note that you can find this by going to your workspace, so just logging into your account and then clicking repurpose video right next to create a project and click that and it'll take you to the same spot. You can click to upload or drag in a file or you can paste in a link to a video that's online. So I'm just going to upload a podcast. We will just wait for this to upload and then get started. Okay, so now you can see that the upload is complete. Now you need to pick your language, mine's English, and then click generate clips. And then as you can see, it will start generating your clips and you will receive an email when they're ready to review. So you don't have to stay on the page. You can go and do any other work that you need to and come back when these are ready. Now my clips are all generated. So from a, around a 30 minute episode, it gave me one, two, three, four, five, six clips. You can watch them by clicking the play button. And as you can see, it goes back and forth between angles whenever someone is talking. And it also highlight where in the transcript is being spoken right here. You guys can't hear right now because I have a microphone in, but it will play the audio so you can know what's being said. Now, while you're here, you can adjust some things for all of the videos at once. You can change change their aspect ratio by clicking this button up here and changing the aspect ratio. You can also change your subtitle style by clicking here and picking any of these styles. And you can click whether or not you want speaker focus on or not, which will change the angle based on whoever's speaking. So one option is that you can just download them straight away. If you're happy with them, you can just click this little download button and it will download straight to your computer. And then you'll be able to see that it moves them over to the right in case you want to open them up later. Or you can click the edit as project button and open it in Kapwing, which we can do right now. It'll open up the Kapwing project. And now you can see we have this clip in Kapwing where you can edit. Now you can continue to edit with the trim with transcript feature if you'd like, which makes editing super easy just by editing the text. So for instance, this video is around three minutes long, which is fine for TikTok and Instagram Reels. But let's say that I want to make it usable also for YouTube Shorts. All I have to do is highlight the portions of the video that I don't want. So I'm highlighting all of this and then I can click delete or click delete on my keyboard. Okay, so now my clip is below one minute. And of course, because this is a full studio editor, you can do whatever you'd like. So you can add in images by going to the image tab on the left and add in some smart B-roll images. And you can add in the images that it pulls. So now you have some video and image overlays on your video. Of course, you can go to the audio tab as well and add in any background music that you'd like, royalty free. Change the subtitle style if you'd like to be a little more subdued or within your brand guidelines. And of course you can go to the media tab and go under my media and use any of your brand kit that you have, like adding logos so that every video is branded to your brand standards. And then when it's perfectly to your liking, you can just export the project, wait for it to finish exporting and then download it and it's ready to post. You can create tons of videos from one long form piece of content. So yeah, that's about it. Are right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to try out Repurpose 
the studio and let us know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of the releases and videos that Kapoing's putting out, and we'll see you guys in the next one.